Hey guys, what's going on? Um, just checking in with my latest video blog. Um, I'm celebrating three months of sobriety. Um, 93 days of sobriety. Um, my sobriety date was the is the 17th of October, and um, that's as I say, that's that I'm celebrating three months now, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, this is the second longest period I've ever been sober. Um, I managed a year ago. I managed five months and a week, um, so I'm getting I'm getting a lot closer to that. And um, although I feel fantastic, I've, I've never felt better in my whole life. I still need to get to that um, that milestone of being, you know, the most sober I've ever been. You know, um, so you know I've got a couple more months um, to wait till that happens. Um, but since my last video, um, obviously I made it at the two month mark. I'd um, I'd lost. It was called two months sober and twenty nine and a half pounds lighter. Um, I've lost another five and a half pounds in weight in this third month. Now, the weight loss has been a, a real learning curve, curve for me because I thought I knew because I've lost weight in the past. I thought I knew what I was doing. Um, but if you look on other videos on my channel, I've done a water fast video about how to restart my metabolism. And um, a long story short, I had to do that because I cut my calories right down to a, like, I don't know, 1100, 1200 a day. And I did it for a couple of months. And I got so used to it, I was fine, I was exercising like mad, wasn't hungry. I just got my body used to it. And um, initially, when I first started that, I, I dropped nearly 20 pounds really quickly and I thought it was fantastic and then the weight loss really started to slow down and um, basically because I'd stopped drinking so I, I wasn't getting all those calories from the alcohol or the coca-cola because I only drunk whiskey um, so that was the difference I think and I absolutely stalled my metabolism I've heard stories of people doing that but I actually did it and I went through a period of carried on exercising like mad and um, my calorie intake was that low and I, my body just stored, it didn't lose half a pound um, and it, I, I had that for about four full weeks which was just mind blowing and it was a worry um, but I, with a lot of help from a, from a friend and um, just learning what to do and, and I've, I've, it looks like I've restarted it because I've lost um, seven, sorry I've lost five pounds in the last two weeks, three pound last week and two pound this week so it looks like my metabolism is starting to go again uh, and, and daft as it sounds, the, the way you get it going again is you eat more <laughs> you put more calories into your body um, all, all the maths equations are on the net, it's really easy to work out what you need to, what, what calories you need to survive um, you, what your daily intake is um, so anyway, I'm sorry, I'm just going, I'm digressing slightly but um, I just wanted to get back on because on, on, my, on my sobriety journey the early stages, the first six months of it, I plan to lose, you know, a fair bit of weight. I've got a goal there, so I'm I'm now back on track. As I say, I'm three months sober. I'm five pounds lighter this month, so I'm really expecting on the fourth month, you know, at some met weight loss. So back to the sobriety journey. Oh, absolutely fantastic. I say I've never felt better, and you know, I'm I'm generally saying I've never felt better than this in my whole life, that that I can remember anyway. Um, I do believe the three months is a massive milestone. Um, I've heard lots of things, you know the AA use the term 90 meetings in 90 days and there's also something out there on the net that tells you about the uh, it takes 90 days to break a bad habit. Um, they kind of they suggest that the first 30 days is the uphill journey where it's difficult. Um, second 30 it's like a plateau, you sort of in limbo and then as you get to the 60th day and on um, it, it's downhill and things get better. I don't know if that's true. Um, when I when I quit this time, as the majority of you know, if you've watched my videos, um, this was for good. You know, I I know I'm going to use a lot of cliches, but I literally was sick and tired of being sick and tired. Um, I had relapsed so many times just to not caring, knowing full well what would happen if I had one more drink. Because um, the other, what's the other saying they use? Um, one drink's too many and a thousand's not enough, you know, that's that's completely me, that, that's my drinking pattern. Um, so with that in mind, um, and then the six months of, of stopping for a couple of days, weeks at a time, 
and then picking a drink up again and just going directly back to that shit place every time. Might have not been in the first day, might have been the second or third day, but every time I pick a drink up I go back to that shit place. And um, and that shit place was growing. Um, it was getting a lot darker again, um, which reminded me of when I was at my worst, when I first decided to stop almost two years ago. You know, some really bad thoughts, suicidal thoughts in this place. And, uh, you know, the pennies finally dropped and you realise if I drink one drink, I'm going to go back to that place. And there will become a time when I can't get out of that place. Um, so the easiest thing in the world to do is never visit that place. And that's where I'm at now. Um, so with that in mind, it's, you know, if you check back on my videos, um, I think I made my first one. Uh, on the 16 days in and then a, a month, two months and now this third month it's, it's been really easy for me because I've got that mindset and it's not even a mindset now because mindsets can change it's that's oh, I don't know what the word is I've that's installed in my brain now and um, I know I can never drink again um, and I also know if I do drink again then as I say I know where I'm going to be and I don't know if I'll get out of it so it's really easy. So this journey's been fantastic. Um, again, you know, I have odd thoughts. I, I don't. I've never once thought about picking a drink up in all this time. Never once. Never even once come close to thinking about picking a drink up. But you do get those habit feelings when you know. Oh, I remember when I used to do this. I remember when I used to do that. But that's. But I don't even class them as triggers. They're just old habit thoughts. That's it. And and they're nothing. You know, I, I don't even have to block. I don't even have to block those out because they don't mean that much to me. Um, I'm just trying to think what else I've done differently. I, to be fair, this this last this third month, I haven't done anything differently. I, I've just carried on. Then, do you know what? That's the key. You just keep doing the right things, and then you stay sober. And with staying sober, it creates the rest of the balance um, needed in your particular lifestyle. Which for me. Mine's really easy at the moment. As I say, my, my kind of plan for the first six months is obviously to get sober, which I've done, and then through the tools I use um, daily to keep sober, healthy eating is a massive one um, because I don't want to put weight back on, you know. And I only put weight back on because I drank so much and I ate, I ate shit food all the time. So I've completely changed my diet. I'm, I've, I've, I've learned, or through a friend of mine, a close friend, I've, I've, I've learned about proteins, carbs, fats, good fats, bad fats, and all this. You know, I never knew anything about that. So I'm, I'm not trying to take it all in. You know, I'm not into that at all. I'm, I'm, I'm a big, well, I work in small steps at my own pace, and that's what I've done. But as we sit here three months sober, I've now introduced um, a fruit and veg smoothie once a day into my, my diet. Um, which is fantastic, I love it now, it, it's got, um, it has what, 60 grams of protein powder in it and it's and it's awesome, you know, I'm quite early days, I'm about two weeks into that but I love it, you know, it's got fucking shit like um, spinach in it and stuff but it, you know, you juice it up, it's, it's, it's fantastic uh, and it gives you what your body needs um, I've introduced peanut butter back into my life which is ridiculous but you know, again, you need it um, so that's the food side taken care of, so I eat healthy now uh, and I eat well, I've got to be honest, you know, I can I can have that bag of, bag of crisps or lump of cheese or whatever, I've just got to do it in moderation, you know, you just got to be aware of it, I just can't do it every day like I used to do, so I'm really chuffed with my diet, really chuffed, um, and my exercising, um, I've, I've moved on again, it's funny, my exercises, it goes in cycles, it could be hiking, walking, cycling, um, running, jogging, treadmill, whatever, but um, when I was doing research on my shutdown metabolism, uh, it became quite apparent that the experts, uh, again this friend of mine, it's um, it was advised to get back on weight training um, as soon as I could, um, because there's nothing better for your metabolism than weight training. Um, I don't know the science of it, but it basically has your metabolism going 24 hours, 24 seven, once you're in a weight training routine. Um, and that's what I've done. I've, a lot of you, a few, a few of you know, I used to be banging to weights in, when I was younger, um, to an extent where I used to juice up and stuff. Really, I was really serious about it, or stupid, either or. Um, but you know, I kind of, I, I probably stopped training properly when I was about 25, 26, um, and I kept going back to it now and again because there's nothing better than weight training. Um, and I kept going back to it, but when I was drinking and I kept going back to it, 
I it won't take me long, it took me a couple of weeks on the weights and I wanted to become Arnold Schwarzenegger again and maybe May it was like oh, let's go get all the supplements, get the amino acids, weight gain, the weight, the weight powder and you know creatine and then get right up back on the steroids you know start pricing up a steroid cycle and that just and, and in the meantime when you do this because I'm trying to bulk up again or because it feels so good you start throwing all the food back in because you can uh, but then I stop because of the alcoholism and the weight just blown. So again, that's another thing just like my drinking that I just did so much of. And again, I just I'm just there now and I just know that that I can never do that again. You know, I'm quite happy. I'm I'm down to 17 stone two. Um again, I should have probably been a stone lighter at this stage, but it's it's fine. I I I'm I'm pretty sure in, in, in a month from now I'm gonna be a lot closer to that. Um, the lightest I've been in the last, oh, what, probably 15 years I'm guessing is 16 stone 4 um, and that's my target is to get to 16 4 but that's my starting target because when I'm there that's when I'm going to go through it and I'm, I'm going to get, I'm going to hit new ground and I'm so excited about that I can't tell you how excited I am, you know by the time I get there, probably when I get to 16 4, realistically you know I could be, you know that well, I could be coming up, I could be there, I could be coming up to my longest ever sobriety, um, my new sobriety, and um, I could be the lightest I've ever been, and obviously what comes with that is that I'll be as fit as I've ever been, so I just can't wait to get there, you know. Um, I know when I when I get to that point, then I'll have to change change things up and down and sideways again, and, 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 and go into maintenance mode so I can sustain it, I get all that, but right now the goal is just to, to get there. And um, yeah, so I'm back on the weights and I'm not taking any supplements as such. A bit of protein because you need extra protein. Um, I'm, and I'm, I'm training for strength. Um, and it's fucking awesome. I've bought all the kit again. Um, I've got it in my garage, not going down the gym road again. And you know, I've still got my um, um, circuit training um, stuff in there treadmill, spin bike, punch bag. So I've got all that to hit when I want, when I want to change it up. And I do plan to get out and walk, but it's you know it's it's winter here. It's the middle of January. It's it's perishingly cold. So I'm not that too bothered. I've climbed because I've had so much time off. I've I've climbed a lot of hills and mountains in that time, and I've I've hit a lot of uh, I've ticked a lot of boxes. So it's quite nice just to get back on the weights and hit it. And um, the self the sense of well being I've got from the weights on top of the sobriety and healthy eating is just phenomenal. Um, I can't tell you, as I say, sorry for repeating myself, I just can't tell you how good I feel. Um, so I plan to just carry on doing that um, indefinitely, basically. Um, I've got a, a weight routine, two body parts per day, with some rest days in between. And um, yeah, that's what I'm going to carry on doing. Um, so that pretty much takes us up to today, really. Um, just making this video to carry on because I went back and watched my old videos, and it's such an eye opener. And as I was doing that, I got back to one that was three months ago when I think it's called Day One. Um, and God, I watched it and it didn't upset me, but it looked like a different person. It, the, the, the Glenn who I was watching was just, he was so downbeat with himself. And even though he knew what he needed to do, he was just, he was a sad person. The bit I picked up on most was, God, he was so edgy. It was, it, was, it was like fidgeting and he was, was talking like, I presume I've never done drugs like that, but I presume, you know, that's what you like when you're on drugs. And that's how he came across and I actually felt sorry for the guy. And then I realised, well, fuck, that was me. Um, but, you know, I, I did the hard work and, and that's what it's all about, guys. And I know we keep, we, we, we harp on about what to do, but you've got to do the right things and you've got to do them every day and you've got to do them every week. Um, you can't really have a day off. Um, or any serious time off anyway, you know, you've got to keep, and, and as I say, your right things for you will be different than what they are for me, and and you need to find that out, but, you know, it's not just about stopping drinking, that's that's not enough, that's a starting point, granted, but that's that doesn't sort your life out. Um, if you went down the alcohol and alcoholism route, um, which a majority of you watching have or are, then you've got a lot more wrong with you than just drinking, because drinking is just... Um, glossed over it all, all your problems are, are underlying still uh, and they all come out quite quickly when you get sober um, but because you're sober you're in a really good position and mindset to deal with it um, 
and that's what I did, and that's what you'll do. Um, so, God, I'm just absolutely made up with how I feel. I feel fantastic. I'm strong. I bench pressed yesterday. Um, in big men's weight, it's nothing. I get that. But in my weight, in, in the short period of about three three weeks of of, of weight, I've, I've doubled what I'm lifting already. You know, and, and, and that'll keep that'll that'll progressively increase, but not it won't double. Um, but it just shows you know I'm getting my strength back, and it makes you feel so confident. You know, you can feel all the muscle groups and what have you. So awesome. Um, so that's kind of the things I've got to do right. Um, one of the biggest things that's just happened, um, I finally started working again after um, seven months off. Uh, if you need to know about the seven months, it's all documented back there on other videos. But yeah, basically seven months off. Um, the four of those months, the, the first four months, they were a write off for various reasons. Um, but it was all designed to create the new me uh, and to get me going and eventually I did that in the, the last three months. Um, so I I got a CV away just before Christmas to a company and uh, long story short I went for an interview after Christmas, got the job and I started there three days ago. And I've been, I've been through the mill with this. Uh, it has messed with my mind, something chronic. Um, it's important that I tell you this because you know you someone could help someone else could go through this. So basically, I was so excited. I'd been offered a job. It's good money. It's an operations management position. You know everything was great. So I've, I've gone down there Thursday and there's been a massive induction. I felt great. You know looking around. Uh, and then when I got left on my own to it, God, this fuck off bastard rain cloud just came down on me from nowhere. Didn't have a clue. And God, I felt horrendous. Um, it's so difficult to put it into words what it was. It was just a darkness of like, oh my God, what am I doing here? Nothing to do with the company. I'm just talking about work in general. I was look, I was clock watching on the first day. Who does that? You know, in a management position, I'm sat watching the clock, three, four o'clock in the afternoon. It's horrible. And then I left. And I knew. I kept saying to myself, you know, this is new. You've been off for seven months. But, you know, it's a big thing. Just get home, get something to eat, get to sleep, come back the next day. And um, on the way, on the drive home, this feeling got worse and worse. It was horrendous. Got home, and all that night, I was in a shocking mood. Didn't want to go back the next day. So anyway, I knew, you know, obviously you have to do that. So I get some the next day. Felt a little bit more positive on day two. Got there, and I literally, from the first hour, I'm like, just sat there. No motivation to do it. I'm like my own boss. I'm supposed to get out there, get the teams up and running. Motivation, like that. and I'm just sat there and. It's horrendous, you know. I, I'm things are going through my head of, of how I can get out of here and just get home. Um, oh, horrible, horrible. Uh, and I spell I spent this full second day with, was like that. Um, so I got home again, driving home to getting home. It was worse. I was like, oh my god, what is going on here? It was horrendous. I, I mean, it never it never transpired to anything to do about drinking or anything. But when your head goes to a shit place like that, you know, you've got to be careful. So I went to bed that second night with the third day and I got up, went to work yesterday, which was the third day, and literally got there again. Oh, it was horrendous. Um, and then something changed, luckily. Um, I, I basically, the managing director walked me around, uh, sort of midday, about 12, it was about 12-ish, and he, he dragged me around the factory, you know, telling me what he wanted me to do, and that was great, you know. And that, that whatever dragged this this cloud out of me and I, I the old me came out and started look, the working head came on and the, the strategies and and, and 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 things in my head to target setting and things and I was really concentrating on the job uh, that was like lasted for a couple of hours and I went down and sat down and I just had this newfound sort of um, spark <laughs> uh, for want of a better word and I just felt a little bit better, and I just felt a little bit better every half an hour then, um, which was a really good thing because I needed it um, to a point of getting in my car and thinking, <coughs> okay, I'm feeling not too bad now. I'm ready to go home. I'm going to train the ass off of doing weights, and I've got a full weekend to enjoy. Um, and as I got home, the feel, the bad feeling, never came back, and it was like, you know what? I'm not. Don't get me wrong. I'm not looking forward to going in on Monday because it's. I've still got a little bit of it. 
a um, little bit of apprehension but you know I'm not dreading it you know I, it's just get the week, we'll do the weekend enjoy the weekend get your get your rest you know relax and rest and you know the alarm will go Monday morning and you get back to it but this time you know I'm planning on get my teeth into it this time not letting I know I can't sit around um, I've got a job to do it's a very easy job but I've got to do it and I need to do it um, so that's where we're up to now um, and I'm also bearing in mind you know that at a point on Sunday I don't know what it'll be 6 o'clock 6 p.m. on Sunday I will get a shitty feeling of oh fuck I've got to work tomorrow but that's not unique to me is it you know there'll be most of the world Oh, there'll be three quarters of the world who'll feel who'll get that shitty feeling on a Sunday evening. Fuck me, it's work tomorrow. Yeah, so I've just got to embrace that feeling because that means I'm back in the human race, and I'm I'm earning, I'm paying the bills and stuff, and I, you know I'm just doing it. So long story short, it's just been a fuck off huge. Um, what would you call it? A huge transition for me from you know, getting myself back into work after a seven month period. And someone said oh, I want to grow some more, which is so right, you know, starting a new job, if you're if you're okay, is a is a massive thing. But you know, I was starting starting a new job plus what I've been through and what I'm going through. So, you know, I've taken a lot of optimism from that and you know I've done alright now. I'm I'm thinking, yeah, fuck it, you've done alright. Um So, you know, that's all the main points covered. You know, I'm sober, I'm healthy, I'm fitter, I'm lighter the brain works brain works better every day you know and I've got I've got a proper job now um, so I actually am where I want it to be three months ago in that video if, if, if I could have speak to that if I could speak, speak, speak to that guy right now you know and, and I would say in three months where do you want to be that guy there would have wished for this and, and I'm sorry if that sounds big headed or whatever but it's it's fucking true that's what he'd have wanted you know this he'd have just wanted this guy who is normal, yeah, it doesn't all have that baggage that um, alcoholism brings. Um, so I've done it and I'm fucking happy about it, but I won't be complacent uh, because I've been down that road too many times. Um, so I'm calling myself a new version, I'm a new version of Glen 3.0 and um, I don't plan to uh, have to create another version after this now. I'm 43 years old. Um, you know, I said I've talked about targets and what have you, but when I get to 12 months, I plan to be the best I've ever been, um, and I'm, I'm, I've no doubt I will be. Um, so once again, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, just you know, please subscribe or whatever. Jump on the channel, have a look. Um, all, all, all my alcoholism videos are there, what's and all from from day one and. And you know, you, there's also videos there from when I was at my worst to actually getting five months sober, and you can you you can see in stages how the wheels came off on that journey, and I, and I explain why, and that's what I've done differently this time. So um, yeah, life's never been better, and uh, I thank everyone who's helped me, and uh, obviously I'll keep at it, and I'll I'll get another video blog out on the, my fourth month, my fourth month. And I can't wait. So all the best to you all. Take care. And just never ever give up. A couple of phrases. Keep on keeping on. And quit until you've quit. Those two sayings are priceless. And if you want it enough, you will get it. Just keep going. Good luck my friends. Speak to you later.